round of the feeding. We're in the fish room now, the community room as we call it. We've got our only brackish tank. We've got some Colombian sharks. We've got three, two of them in there, and we got four dragons. They're running about 12 inches long. We're getting ready to feed. Tank's just a little dirty. We gotta get her cleaned up. Here goes some food. See how they like the cans food. These guys are a little slower than everybody else when it comes time to eating. So. Oh, we got one of the dragons. Yeah, spit that out. He's, he seems to enjoy it. All righty. Take a few minutes looking at him. Yeah, I'm, we're having a rough time of trying to keep this brackish tank clean and see-through. I'm not used to it. All my other tanks, they're crystal clear. This one, I just seem to be fighting with it. Now we'll jump over to the big 150 community tank with my salt and pepper there, my pretty angels. We got some plecos and we've just got all kinds of stuff in this tank. We got this pleco feeder from Ken's and we'll see we'll see what it does, see if they like it. And we ordered some angel food from Ken's. So we're gonna hopefully get the angels that they really like it. There's Snowball. She's our giant, giant little grommy. Well, the angels look like they're enjoying it. And we got some Roseline Sharks there. We got them up from a nice fish store up in Omaha. So, all right, we'll feed the last tank here. It's my 125 full of my breeder cichlids. So we'll see how they like it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that. This is one of my few tanks that I don't have to worry about them cleaning their plates up. Blueberry's got a meat wafer. Well, what our plans are is we want to start breeding and selling uh, angels and cichlids and just having a good time learning and meeting folks. I've got some iridescents and some ballads y'all heard about. I've got a 675 out in the garage. We're going to get it set up this spring. We're going to get the garage all insulated up. We're going to have to get a 150 pond bot for these guys. These Colombians, they get three feet. I got to figure out how to turn a pond into a salt tank. So we've got a little work ahead of us. We'll try to put a video out. Uh, I'm a firm believer. I've got nothing but sun sun canisters. Uh, that's what I run in all my everything except for my 125s. They're sump pumps. So uh, we're going to get, I got some sun sun. Uh, uh, turbo heads coming. Uh, I got a big canister, that big 5000 coming from Sun Sun. So we're going to get a review on it and see how everything goes. Uh, if you like what we're doing, you got any suggestions, hit that like button, hit me with a comment, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. Keep them in the water.